Hey YouTubers and RV fans. So today I'm going to do a review of my Class C RV. I've had a lot of requests from uh, subscribers uh, for a review of how I like the RV. And so today is the day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you around the RV and show you, and I'll give you a rating scale of one to 10. One means, yeah, I really don't like it. And 10 is, it's fabulous. So let's get started on my Class C RV review of the 2018 Fleetwood Surge. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so the first part of this review is really going to be on the exterior of the RV. The exterior of the RV is beautiful. It's just well done. Um, it's fiberglass and uh, it's actually a very pretty RV. It's a little bit loud for my taste overall, but in actuality, um, it is a very pretty RV. It is on an E450 Super Duty chassis from Ford. And I have to tell you, the Ford chassis has been amazing. On a scale of one to 10, I'm probably gonna give it a nine because the only reason I'm gonna give it a nine is because it's hard to get the oil, uh, to the oil. But other than that, other than that I would give, it, would, it would get a 10. Um, the chassis has been great. I haven't had any issues with the chassis. Um, it has one slide out, as you can see here. Um, the only thing I don't really like is uh, that the batteries and the generator are under the slide, which kind of makes it a little bit more challenging in terms of getting to them, but that's okay. And then you have your sewer hookups uh, to the back, along with your water and your electric, just as a, a standard uh, option. The uh, Class C is a 25 foot. Um, and like I said before, it is a 2018. So from an exterior perspective, it's a 10. Um, you know, Fleetwood did a really good job in terms of its construction overall. And they did a really nice job in terms of making sure that it's well sealed and uh, a sturdy RV, which for me, I really like the idea of having a sturdy RV. So, Okay, some of the components on the roof, standard with this particular RV is a uh, air conditioning, obviously refrigerator. There's three different vents on top, one over the um, overbed cab, one over the kitchen, and one in the bathroom along with a skylight in the shower. Um, aside from it needing a bath right now, um, the roof seals have been very, have been holding well. Um, I've checked them numerous times in the two years. And you know, of course, normal maintenance, you have to, you know, reseal some areas, but overall it's been um, pretty, pretty good. The issue I've had originally when I first got the RV was with the awning and the awning actually just fell off over here at this arm at the end in the back. And the reason it fell off is because it wasn't properly um, bolted to the frame. I had it repaired uh, here in Louisiana and then I had it also looked at in Decatur at Fleetwood. And then a year later, uh, Fleetwood sends out a recall notice that the arm, one of the arms of the uh, awning might disengage with the frame and fall off. You think? Huh. Anyway, so I'm gonna be taking it up to Decatur to have this looked at just to make sure that it's all hooked in correctly. But uh, awning uh, secured and fastened to the RV, um, let's do a one on that. Yeah, not happy with that at all. I'm not happy with the awning at all. It's cheap, uh, flimsy, and you can not very you can very rarely ever use it unless it's nice and calm. There's no winds, there's no rain, and then you can use the awning pretty, pretty nicely. Outside of that, it has to be rolled up and uh, yeah, okay, that's my review on the awning. Okay, the um, RV has an Atwood water heater uh, in this particular version um, of the Fleetwood 2018 Surge. This is a propane only. Um, I've kind of had problems with this water heater on and off throughout the two years I've owned it. The first, I want to say within the first 
um, month, the um, circuit needed to be replaced. Um, I've had problems with pressure valve leaks, um, just minor issues, nothing, nothing major. But Atwood's been very good about sending parts that I've needed, and uh, I really haven't had any issues. I've only been stranded once without any hot water, and that was when the uh, circuit board went out. Let's see, down here I have the propane tank, and it's a 20 pound propane tank. <laughs> the interesting thing about this is that the propane tank itself is um, installed a little crooked, and so as a result, it makes it very difficult for whoever's filling the propane to get the nozzles in. So that needs to be adjusted. But outside of that, um, I did drive off the uh, showcase floor with General RV in Dover, Florida with a propane leak. Thank you, General RV. Um, and I did have to get that repaired. But once I had that repaired, that was no, no problem. The uh, unit also comes with an, in, uh, an outside radio um, area. And yeah, that's no good. That broke within probably the first six months. Uh, has a Dometic refrigerator. When we go inside, I'll show you the inside of the refrigerator, but it has a Dometic refrigerator. And on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the Dometic probably about a nine as well. It's been very good. It's just sometimes hard to control the temperature and the thermostat inside. It has a Suburban uh, furnace. This I'm gonna give a 10. This baby works beautiful. It warms up the RV in seconds, uh, especially when it's really cold out. So, yeah, good job with Suburban. This is your outside water fill. And uh, this is a pain in the neck because it's the tube itself is a little bit up. So water runs out instead of running in. So that needs to be adjusted. But outside of that, it's not been bad. This is the main storage for the RV. Let me see if I can get a light on in here. This is the main storage for the RV. And it's not bad, it's enough really, because there's a lot of good storage inside the RV, but this is where my garage is essentially. So I've been pretty happy with that. Um, in the back of the RV, you have the ladder that goes up to the roof. You also have a backup camera. The backup camera works beautiful. Um, I don't necessarily like where the window is because the window is right at the line of the pillows. So it, your pillows kind of bunch up the, um, the curtain. But I mean, outside of that, it's not so bad. I did have a problem early on with my lights not working and that was just a simple fix um, with where wires got loose. But outside of that, um, I've not had any problems with the electrical, knock on wood. All right, this is the cockpit. Uh, of the E450 four chassis. It's pretty standard. Uh, not really happy with the driver's seat in terms of being able to move it back a little bit further. Um, you know, and also it would be nice if it swiveled. I don't know if they have options that allow that, but um, outside of that, the cockpit is pretty standard. It comes with, um, you know, uh, air conditioning. It has enough uh, USB or uh, I should say 12 volt um, slots so that you can, you know, put your USBs in. Um, the radio itself is pretty cheap and I could probably replace that. Um, but this is a standard cockpit. No, no big deal. Um, if, you know, my love of this is probably about a six. I think they, I think Ford could probably do some better uh, work on the inside of their Class C cockpits. All right, as we come up into the RV, you can see it looks rather expansive in here. Um, you've got a dinette, closet, the bathroom, the bed, and then over here you have the storage, or the refrigerator, you have your kitchen area, and then you have your over the bed cab, uh, over the cab bed. So from a spaciousness perspective, um, I really like how spacious the RV is. For one person um, or two, the RV is well equipped, I think, to, uh, to handle those two people. What I've done is I removed half of the um, dinette and the table, and then I put in this table, and this has become my office. As most of you know, I'm a digital nomad, so I do work from home. So this is my office, and uh, 
yeah, it's been really good. I still need to take this out, this seat over here, and that will be coming out here probably in the next couple weeks. So I can make a little bit more room and then put another bookshelf in here, not bookshelf, but drawers, a, sec a drawer section in here so I can put my work related stuff in there. As you can see right now, all of my work is in this tub. So uh, I really would like to get that all situated and cleaned up. All right, pardon the mess over here. I just got done moving the RV around, so everything's on my bed. But this is the bed, um, and it's a, a queen size bed. The mattress that came with the RV was horrible, so I got rid of that. And then I ordered a mattress on um, on Amazon that was really, really sweet. It's 10 inches, and it um, has memory foam and hard foam, and it's a hugely comfortable mattress. Difficult to get in and out, but, and you know, if, it's almost like you have to. Uh, um, go to the ICU after you're done making the bed um, because it is pretty challenging and then of course you have a full bathroom here with a shower um, Shower is a little bit small for a guy my size, but I squeeze in there um, But it's a standard bathroom lots of good storage, so not too bad Over here you have the standard um, bathroom sink medicine cabinet, which is very nice and of course mama wags and I have this on there so we have other things that kind of sit there. You got a fairly good sized closet here. Uh, the closet has two pretty big, you know, good sized doors where you can, you know, put some stuff in there. And so we've got that pretty full, or I do anyway. Uh, the refrigerator itself, the Dometic refrigerator has been very good. The only trouble I've had with the refrigerator really is in um, trying to get it to maintain temperature. So, but uh, it's really not been a bad refrigerator at all. So I would give it a nine. All right, then there's storage here. This is a pantry storage right up in here. Not too bad, it's pretty good storage. And then you got three drawers here. Um, I have, you know, I think everybody has a drunk drawer. Here's my drunk drawer. And then I've got some other stuff down there. Uh, full stove, three burner, and then a microwave and then you've got some drawers here so you got four total drawers here they're not real big so it makes it a little bit tough to put your silverware and stuff away but i think after a while you manage you got a nice window over the sink which i like nice storage underneath the sink which i also like and storage over the sink which is really great Let's see, lots of storage over the cab. So if you have a guest who's traveling with you, they can put their clothes up in here. Um, there's storage over here. Um, problem is that the main television for the RV is right here. So whoever is sleeping up here is gonna have to pull their curtain and wear some headphones. And that's what Mama Wags does because she gets the top bunk. <laughs> All right, let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you about. Uh, black tank and gray tank storage are about uh, 40 gallons and the fresh tank storage is about 50 gallons um, Overall, I really love The 2018 Fleetwood Surge All right, so let's do a little summary here. Um, it is a 2018 Fleetwood Surge. It's a 25 foot class C on a Ford E450 chassis uh, Overall rating for me on this particular RV would be an 8 um, I went through with you in each area of the RV to kind of give you my scores. Um, I really do enjoy the RV. I especially love the fact that it's on a tried and true um, chassis and transmission combination. The E450 chassis has been um, a, a workhorse for Ford for many years and it continues to do that uh, for me in, in my own uh, travel life. Uh, I feel safe and secure on the road. It's easy to handle. Uh, when you first buy it, you may need to do um, some um, general routine maintenance like an alignment. Uh, I do need to provide some additional um, suspension work uh, because I think that it's just factory that I have on this and there's been no bells and whistles, trust me. So I've needed to, I need to do some uh, additional suspension work, which I do plan to do. Um, overall, I've enjoyed living in this RV. It's been very good. Um, I really don't have too many complaints, but if you are buying a new RV, know that you're gonna spend at least the first two years working through, I think, some significant issues um, from the manufacturer overall. 
Um, I have worked through those issues over the last two years. You know, they say 80% of your RV works 100% of the time, and that's very true. So we always have a list of things that need to get fixed, but I do try to do most of the repairs myself. Um, and I found that if I don't know how to do it, YouTube's a great place to go to get it done. So with that said, would I buy this type of Class C again? I probably wouldn't buy a limited edition. I would probably buy a tried and true uh, brand, either from Fleetwood or from Jayco or from, you know, Coachman or some other brand that, you know, is fairly reputable. Um, however, with that said, I will say that I think Fleetwood did a fairly decent job with the Surge. I don't know that they're in production anymore. I believe they only made one year worth of them. Um, I know they made sizes in 31 feet and 35 feet and 25 feet. So I don't know that the Surge is currently on the market or available, but um, yeah, I would probably do it again. I'm very happy with the, the Class C. I like the way it drives. That's a big thing. You know, you don't want to white knuckle down the road and it's easy to pass with this. It's got very good visuality and clearance so you can see. Um, the only big issue that ranked a big fat zero for me was towing anything on the back of it. Now that wasn't necessarily the fault of Fleetwood or Ford. Um, it was the fact that I didn't get the suspension upgrades. The suspension upgrades for me probably would have cost about two or three thousand dollars and quite frankly I just didn't want to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. Um, if you are not following me on Facebook for uh, real-time videos, make sure you get on over to Facebook to Patty Wagon Travels. Um, I'm posting a lot of uh, real-time videos there. Uh, like, this, like this video, thumbs up, and I will see you on the road.